In this video, we're going to look at how to add charts to our infographic. So you can come over here. You see I've got charts up here, but you might not actually see charts as an option. So you need to come down to where it says more and then choose charts. It will be in there as an option. So I'm going to get back up to my charts tab. And all the charts that have this bluish kind of green look to them, they are charts that, um, that you can actually enter figures in. So I'm just going to do a simple bar chart, which is this one up here. And you see I've now brought the bar chart da data in. Now this bar chart, um, I want to put the height of all the respective um, all the respective mountains in here just to show this the how close they actually are. So first off, I don't need series two, so I'm going to get rid of all of that information in here. And you'll see that's going to disappear over there. Now I don't need series three either. I'm also going to change the settings because I don't need to actually see the labels down the bottom there. Um, so the bottoms of this one. And edit. Thank you. I don't need to see the labels there. So I'm going to um, come into settings and say um, show labels and get rid of that. So I now just got a really simple little thing. What have I missed in the data here? Oh, it's that one. Okay, delete. Delete. Okay, so that should be all updated into series. Now, I've got my five mountain values over here. I'm just going to copy them and paste them in. And there. Copy. And then you can see this update in the actual graph results down here. So there we are, we've actually, I keep clicking out there and getting out of the edit. Radio. so now I have my little bar graph, I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can actually see it. And I'm actually going to see if I can reduce this down a bit. So it's all a bit, um, fits within the settings that I want. So what else can we do in relation to the settings? So along here you can actually choose your default colours. So I'm going to choose it to go into that blue there, which is my, my style of that. Um, if you had fonts in there, you can actually go and put the different fonts that you're actually going to be using and change the font size and also change your text colouring, but we haven't got those in there. So that's how you are. Now you can see here, when I click on the chart, if you go into the edit, you can actually choose the different types of charts. So I might choose a row chart instead. Um, so you can play around with the different charts that you've actually got set up in here, a line chart. Um, so there's a whole range of the different ones and it's really easy to put those in um, and change them about. Okay, so there we are in relation to adding a chart to your infographic on Canva.